Some water quality parameters such as true color, dissolved organic carbon, or UV absorbance and transmittance require filtration prior to analysis to separate the dissolved materials from the suspended matter. To do this, we will be using a 0.45 micron PES filter, filtration apparatus, and a vacuum pump to prepare our sample. This is a basic overview. You should always refer to the methods and procedures specifically related to your equipment. Collect your sample in clean glass or plastic bottles. Assemble the filter apparatus. Place the mount on the filter flask. Dampen the filter mount with deionized water and place the 0.45 micron filter using forceps to gently grip the edge. Place the filter with the same side up as was found in the filter container. Wet the filter and place the funnel on top, securing it with a clamp. Connect the vacuum tubing to the filter flask. Dispense approximately 100 milliliters of deionized water into the funnel, rinsing the sides of the glassware as you go. Turn on the vacuum pump and adjust as necessary. Turn the pump off when the water line drops below the filter. Relieve the vacuum pressure and remove the vacuum pump tubing, the clamped mount, and the funnel from the flask. Swirl the flask to rinse the glassware and pour the water into a waste beaker or a drain. Repeat this process with another approximate volume of 100 milliliters of deionized water, but save the filtered deionized water as a filter blank in a clean flask. Some water quality parameters require you to zero instruments using the filtered deionized water for quality control purposes. Dispense approximately 100 milliliters of your sample water into the funnel, rinsing the glassware if it is possible, and filter it into the flask. Rinse the flask and dispense the sample into a waste beaker or a drain. Repeat this process with another approximate volume of 100 milliliters of sample water, but save the filtered water as your filtered sample in a clean flask. This can be used in your water quality analysis. When filtering multiple samples, be sure to change the 0.45 micron filter between them and repeat the deionized water and sample rinsing for each additional water sample. More videos and helpful resources related to drinking water are available on our Drinking Water Resource Library. Visit our website to learn more about our training courses and our pilot testing services.